Hey guys. Ain't nothing quite like a coffee time with Cobra. Or as I like to say, coffee time with Cobra. You know. Oh, excuse me. Even my ass is saying good morning. I'm not sure it's a, if it's a Hana effect day, just started the day. Nice cloudy overcast, which means the temps are down, which means yeah. God, I'm sick and tired of these 100 and 910 degree things that have been going on. But, uh, yeah, had an interesting night last night, did a little bit of a live stream. New H&G patch hit, new audio sounds. Um, all the semi-autos all sound the same now. Um, they did something to the animations with the bolt action so the guns feel a little bit more responsive. I, there's no real delay between trigger pressing and bullet firing. Which is a good thing. Because there are times when it would be click, then da 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 da, you know? But at the same time, the game client keeps freezing up every so often. Happened at least three or four times during my live stream. Went a bit of a, on, on a tangent kill spree with a stock grease gun <laughs> on my Soviet, which was somewhat pleasing, you know. Of course, Soviet player base is still a whole bunch of retards. Um, still no actual hard counter for paratroopers. Well, you could always throw a hanger and that's not a hard counter for a paratrooper. I'm sorry, guys. Let me explain. I'm going to go off on a bit of a rant here. Let me explain. A hard counter is something that is going to always counter something, okay? Rock, paper, scissors, for example, okay? They all counter each other. There is no one super powerful thing in rock, paper, scissors, okay? I got rock, you got paper. Okay, you got paper, I got scissors. Okay, you got scissors, I got rock. Do you see how it works? That is how it should be. And don't give me no historical accuracies, bollocks, because if that's the case, then why the fuck is the Tommy the Tier 2 submachine gun and not the Tier 1 submachine gun? Because guess what, Reto? In the actual war, the Grease gun ended up replacing the Thompson, not the other way around. The PPSH-43, mm, yeah, it doesn't even get me started on the, ch on the chicken gun. Chicken gun. Still waiting on my first emote to get approved by um, by uh, Twitch because we do have the Twitch sub button now. Yay! Uh, and it does look like it's going to stay, which means I might be shutting down my game wisp. Sadly, boo. But upside is, um, if you've got an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe to a one Twitch channel for free. So, you know, guys, hey, if you've got Amazon Prime and you like my, my H&G content or my War Thunder content or my Warframe content or, you know, whatever, how even my Division content, if you like any of the content I, I, I have, you know, build ideas, etc., etc., you know, hit that sub button. I greatly appreciate it over on Twitch. Um, they do have different subscription level tiers now. Um, you've got the four ninety nine, the nine ninety nine, and then a twenty nine ninety nine. And I have no idea. I don't know anyone who has subscribed to anyone for twenty nine ninety nine. You know, I don't. It's fucking ludicrous. They're trying to grab a cat that escaped. So if you hear people talking in the background, you know why. It genuinely looks like it's going to rain a little today, which is going to be fan-fucking-tastic for me. Um, we did do a little bit more yard work. Did get a little bit more yard work done. Waiting on the tree doctor to get here, because he's got to cut down some... Well, that or I can get my hand in a fucking chainsaw, I can cut them down myself. I I'd cut them down a lot quicker by myself, too. You know, but no. Can't give me a chainsaw, because they're afraid I'm going to go Jason Voorhees on people. Yeah. It's not that, it's just most people don't let the chainsaw do the work. They put too much pressure on the blade. Or on the thing, you know, let the chainsaw do the work. You just hold it. 
you let the engine and the chain and the teeth do the work. Stop trying to go, maybe if I put more pressure on it, it'll cut quicker. No, you're just going to snap your chain. Three, two, one, snap. Told ya. Happens every fucking time. It's like, like kids seem to think, oh, if I smash the button harder on the controller, it's going to hit them hard. Hey, what's up? I told you she didn't want to come in. The moment that door opened up after the, the uh, and it was after the dogs left, not before. So she wasn't spooked by the dogs. She literally bolted right out the door. And when I went to tell her to come back into the house, she just looked at me like, no. And just pretty much. And she just carried on walking. And that, now, now you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyway, guys, waiting on a burn permit as well, so we can burn uh, the two piles of tree limbs that we've been cutting down off trees and stuff. And yeah, most people don't seem to understand. I have quite a lot of real estate here, like land-wise. Um, but here's a little, here's a little shh for you. Okay, you ready? I'm actually looking at buying a house. So I'm gonna be talking to the real estate, and of course, another tree limb fell down last night. Oh look, another fucking tree limb. And it fucked my fence. Be nice, Dan. Be nice, Dan. Dan, be nice. Be nice, Dan. We had a little bit of a windstorm last night. Nothing much, only like 20, 25 miles per hour wind. Got some shingles loose and missing off my roof. So I've got to fix that today. But the house in question I'm looking at buying is a six bedroom house. We talked about the gaming house idea during my live stream. And I'm actually thinking about going for it. Mm-hmm. So who knows? I'll uh, talk more about it in today's stream. Yes, I'm going to be live streaming today, guys. I know it's wait, it's a Thursday. You don't stream on Thursdays. I decided to give Thursdays a bit of a stream. You know, try and go back, get back into my old, you know, five days a week. I have been gaining subscribers each day. Oh, you finally got her. Yeah. She okay? I have Is she okay? All right, you silly goose can't scare me like that. Okay. Anyway, guys, coffee's done, vlog's done. I'll talk more about it in uh, today's uh, stream. Mm, yeah. Bye. Hey guys, just a quick update. Uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, since I don't eat fast food, what what food do I eat? That restaurant over there. It's a Mexican restaurant and they cook all their own food from scratch. Literally, their own guacamole, everything from scratch. They don't open up a can or anything. The chicken is all freshly cooked and prepared the day of. Um, there is literally zero, and I mean zero preservatives or anything. You know, great Mexican restaurant. Uh, trust me, that restaurant got me to try guacamole. Now, you gotta understand, I eat with my eyes. You know, if I, if, I, if, I, if I like what I see, you know, I tend to eat it. You know, not with my eyeballs, of course, that, that's just weird. But you get what I mean, I'm a visual guy, okay? And the look of guacamole just never appealed to me. It looked like Kermit the Frog and Snot in a bowl. You know, just blended together, you know? And the other week, we were in the restaurant, and both the owner of the restaurant and, and Baroness managed to convince me to try guacamole. I tried, the guy looked at me and goes, just close your eyes and just take a bite. So I did. And dear God, I have no idea what the hell I've been missing. <laughs> I don't. 
Guacamole is yummy. <laughs> it's, it's yummy. It looks like crap, but it's yummy. <laughs> now I have to have guacamole and damn near everything. <laughs> I've constantly got avocados in my fridge. And so, me being almost 40 years old, okay, if, if I'm finally realizing the pleasures that is guacamole, you know, later on in my life, you guys need to stop getting past the hookups of should I, should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I, okay? Plain and simple, guys. Get over it, get up past the hookups, get over everything, and just enjoy life. All right, my friends? Now, I am heading off to DI over in Price. That's Desert Industries. They are a charity shop. Um, I'm going to be picking up some clothes that, uh, you know, I don't care if they get wrecked or ruined or whatever, but I'm going to be picking up some t-shirts and a, pair, a couple of pair of pants and stuff and whatnot to get ready to relaunch an old YouTube channel that I thought I wouldn't launch in forever. Uh, last night I sat down with some friends on Skype and they convinced me to give the channel a second shot, so I am. And I'm not going to go into the channel or, 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 or anything like that right now, but what I will do is when I'm getting ready to launch the channel, relaunch the channel, what I do, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to go ahead and launch the thing. I'm not going to ask questions or, or anything else, stuff like that. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. All right, guys, so without further ado, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will see you later on tonight. Yes, it's Saturday. I know I did stream a little bit of HMG earlier, but once I'm done doing the stuff I need to do over in Price and whatnot, and head home, I've got a uh, prior engagement at about five o'clock my time. After that, uh, I will be back on Twitch, uh, probably playing a little bit of League of Legends. So uh, I'm gonna re 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 relaunch the Loser Plays League of Legends. So yeah. Hasta mañana, my friends. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, hey guys. Sorry about the horrible camera angle. There we go. Uh, it's coffee time with Cobra. And today, you coming in, sausage? Come on in. Come on. In. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and today's not either a hand day or a fet day. Today is a what the fuckery day. Um, weatherman said we was gonna get rain. We got maybe a tinkle sprinkle, you know? Um, what I mean by that is, you know, when you finish going pee and you've always got that one little drip of pee left in your penis, you know, it's just saying you shake it out kind of thing, tinkle, drinkle, so anyway. Um, barely enough to even hydrate the ground. This is just getting ridiculous. And so, yeah. We had that. Got my puppies out there doing their thing in the backyard. Get out of that corner! Now! <laughs> and so, yeah, it's been one of those days, guys, you know. It's uh, 11 o'clock. Man, it's a little late coffee time with Cobra, but it's a coffee time with Cobra. Streamed a little last night in H and, of H and G on a Sunday. I know. Um, I wanted to try something. I wanted to try and design a new game mode for H and G called Hardcore. Very similar to Hardcore and Call of Duty. You know, one and done. You know, heavy set gold don't do shit. Um, stuff like that. However, when I went to disable the HUD, I couldn't spawn in. Yeah! For some reason. I just could not spawn in. The spawn points for me to click on to spawn in weren't there. And even when I turned it off, the map glitched and I had no spawn points to spawn in. So I had to leave the game, come back, spawn in, turn off the HUD, go play. And it is hard, it is hard, because, you know, it's like, if you die, you've got to leave the game and come back in, because your HUD prevents you from spawning back in. You've got no mini-map, no map whatsoever. You don't know what's on a vehicle. Could be an ammo crate, could be a health pack, could could be a Panzerfaust. 
you know. Whoa, come on, come on, come on. Bloody boys. We're gonna go for a walk. And so yeah, it was a, it's a game idea I wanna work on, but I gotta figure out like hotkey commands or something that's gonna allow me to turn off the HUD after I spawn in and then turn the HUD back on without glitching the game. Which is like non-existent. It's not gonna happen. Come on, monsters, boys. Boys. Come on. Shithead, house. Go on. Go on. Thank you, shitheads. <laughs> uh, yeah. So they're in the house now. Ugh. So it's just me and my coffee. And so, yeah, it's um, interesting. It's interesting to say the least. Because, like I said, I tried it last night. And it looked like it worked. It really did. Uh, it was fun. I, I, I hit a viewer higher, like 29, 30 viewers, and they were like, dude, what game mode is this? Because I put in, you know, new hardcore mode. I'm like, it's the hardcore mode. And I was like, yes, finally. The feedback I got from chat was, all oh, right, yeah, finally, a fucking hardcore mode, you know, and whatnot. And I'm like, yeah, hardcore mode, you know. And I said, it's a bit buggy, so you got to understand, you know. And I was like, are you a dev for, for Red And I'm like, no, 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 I'm just a streamer, I'm just a streamer. You know, and I'm just streaming a hardcore mode. And they were like, oh, cool, when, when is it? Is this, is this on the test server? Is this live? I'm like, it's live right now, man. And they're like, oh, cool, logging in. And then they were like, how do I do it? And I'm like, okay, you got to do this to your any file, you know, to bring up your dev commands. And you type in this dev command after you've spawned in, not before, after you've spawned in. And they did that, and they were like, holy shit, I've actually got frames now. And I'm like, yeah, now look at how hard the game is, because you don't know how much ammo you got. You don't know how much health you got. You know, you don't know who's an enemy, who's a friend. You know, you see a bush move, you, just, da, 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 you spray the bush down just to make sure, you know. You hear an engine sound, and you whip around to make sure it's an, a friendly tank or an enemy tank. You know, or a friendly car or an enemy car. You know, or a friendly bike or an enemy bike. Long range shots, you're like, wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, that's a Soviet pop. You know, scopes are... Uh, no one ever seems to understand how fundamental optics are, you know, in a game like H&G compared to Iron Sights, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, yeah, once you've gotten used to the Iron Sights, and trust me, by the time you've unlocked an optic, if you haven't bought the semi-auto package in the bundle store, you know, by the time you've gotten used to the, the Iron Sights and you buy the optic, the optic stick feels completely off. Uh, I know this because, you know, well, how many soldiers do I have in each faction? I've got, let's see, two two infantry and a recon in all three factions. So that should tell you something, you know. And my recons are ones I've ground out. They're not recon, well, the top part of my Soviet recon. But my German recon, I ground him out from infantry. So he's an old school soldier, so he can chop and change. And go back to infantry if he wants to, you know. Um, I believe so is my tank. Yeah, my tankers are as well. Or three of my tankers they can chop and change so you know I ground those guys out so you know like I said I know I know the pain man I know the pain of trying to get used to the iron sights is at this point of the, the iron sight is it actually the tip of the iron sight is you, 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 trust me I'm, I'm used to it a little tip if you're trying to get used to the American M1 gear and sights and you've got Call of Duty Black Ops 1 okay get the M14 the iron sights are damn near identical. The the jump pattern of the gun is damn near identical. Um, the only difference it isn't is the bullet spread. Okay, so you're gonna have to get used to that if you try to fire rapidly. So you got to understand that. So what I tend to do is leave the gun stock. You know, go go with the like the marksman's ammo and the scope and the barrel, not the the S2 barrel. But I leave trigger and spring alone so I can get used to the fire rates. The rate of fire itself helps me control the recoil. Okay? It's the only tips I can give you when it comes to the semi autos. Um, a lot of people will say, well, screw that the moment you unlock the car 98 or, or the, the 19, 1903 or the, 
Uh, or the Mosin and the Yen, just get that for sure. Okay, Bill, here's the problem with that, Bill. Um, you're back to scratch. What do you mean, boy? Exactly just that, you're back to scratch. You don't know one, you know, you've got to get the marksman's ammo, you've got to get trigger, you've got to get spring, you've got to get bolt, you've got to get barrel, you've got to get everything. So do you want to take a stock bolt action into, say, a gold class game? where you've got Tiger 1s, Tiger 2s, Pershings, Jumbos, um, IS-2s, you know. Hello, shall we? You know, IS-2s, um, God forbid, you know, Sturmgewehrs, um, modified M1 Garens, modified, you know, SVD-40s, modified, you know, firing back at you. MP40s, MP34s, do you really want, they've got you on rate of fire, all you've got is range, and even then you don't have accuracy, range is nothing without accuracy, okay, they go hand in hand, alright, if you can't be accurate, you know, go for, everyone tells you, if you can't modify your bolt action for, 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 for accuracy, I like slap a scope on it, and marksman's ammo, and you know, just aim for the the head and be a supportive player. You know, you you see that one German soldier who's taking a smack, so boom, ugh, he's dead. You know, or you see that one recon, Kemp Bush, like a proper bush wookie. You know, it's like that. you know, headshot, nicely done. You know, um, notice that they will not do a bundle package for any of the bolt actions. You know, scope, marksman's ammo, uh, um, trigger. Like they did with the, the semi-autos. Because if they did, that would just blow their fuzzy little minds. That would piss off a lot of recon. Well, it really wouldn't because, you know, the whole... <sighs> full lungs. Can't hold my breath. Guns all over the place. What's the first thing they teach you in the military? Control your breathing. I honestly feel the Reto needs to actually go to a basic training camp, not their own countries, an actual foreign militaries like Germans basic training camp or an American basic training camp and actually figure out what it truly is. Every other game you can hold breath. Not H and G. Well, coffee's gone. Which means it's uh, cough time for coverage done. So anyway, um, look forward to seeing a new video f on uh, War Thunder here today. I will be live streaming War Thunder today. Um, we're going to continue on doing the Road to the Yag Tiger. Uh, so look forward to seeing that, my friends. So uh, yeah, I will see you on Twitch.tv/slash Deceptive Cobras. So bye.